Raj, you know, one of the, the bullish arguments was that Musk to date seemed to be navigating pretty well that tough supply chain environment. Has that changed now? No, I, I don't think it's changed. I mean, I cover the semiconductor industry, so the, the production of, of chips, whether it's power management, whether it's sensors, um, Wi-Fi, it continues to be in um, short supply. There is a more production coming online from the foundries that are going to help ease the bottlenecks um, in the uh, automotive supply chain. So I do think um, the production of chips uh, will start to increase for the automotive sector. Um, and so that should uh, should help. I, I, I think that um, Elon Musk is, is being somewhat conservative in terms of his delivery targets, um, leaving some room for possible upside beyond the 50 percent growth rate that he talked about. Right. It sounds like you, your concerns go beyond, though, just the chain um, and has more to do with pricing pressure as more competitive offerings come online. Uh, it, can you talk about that, di that dynamic and at what point that really uh, becomes acute? Yeah, so where I'm focusing on is has been the automotive gross margin line. The automotive gross margin X the ZEV credits so was 29.2% this quarter. Um, it has improved um, from last year, but it only grew about 40 basis points sequentially. And this is despite the fact that the automotive revenue grew 31% sequentially. So in very high volume from 3Q to 4Q, the margins X the credits only eked out, you know, 40 basis points of improvement. And so what really needs to happen for, for Tesla is that the automotive gross margins need to continue to expand. Um, uh, and that this is going to be driven by, by lowering the, the battery pack cost uh, because the pricing pressure is going to be intensified um, through more competition. And um, there will be more uh, market share dynamics um, this year and next year. All right, so why don't you expect the margins will actually expand the way that perhaps others do? Well, I think that the, the margin expansion um, is already in the price. Um, you know, I think the stock price and this current valuation reflects gross margins that are going to kind of move to the, to the mid-30s. So based on our, you know, 10-year discounted cash flow analysis where we look at over, over a 10-year period, um, we're assuming, you know, gross margins moving to, to mid-30s. Uh, and when you discount those uh, cash flows back, assuming a higher interest rate because of the higher inter interest rate environment, you know, you get fair value shares of around $600 or so, which is, you know, 30 40% downside from here. So I, I think the valuation already reflects this. Um, so the stock is, is really priced to perfection, in, in my mind, with respect to, to the margin expansion. So it's, it's critically important for them to uh, lower the cost of the battery packs um, down to a point where they can offset uh, any pricing pressure from competitors, which is um, going to happen. All right. So do you think they're going to be able to, to lower the price of the battery packs effectively to do that, or are you a doubter? I think they have shown some progress that they are lowering um, the, the battery pack cost. Uh, I think the shift towards the 4680 uh, battery sales is a good um, initiative. Um, that uh, increases the energy consumption by 5x and then reduces the, the cost of the battery packs by about a half. If they can successfully move to those 4680 battery cells, they're currently on, on the lithium battery cells that are the 2170. If they can move to that um, uh, uh, transition, then um, I think they're going to be more cost competitive and they can lower the price of, of the Tesla down to kind of $25,000 level, which would increase the volume. But there's a lot of steps that, that need to, to for that for that to happen. And my point is that the, the, the stock price already reflects that happening, um, given the, uh, the the discounted cash flows that, that you uh, can anticipate mm -hmm. over the next several years.